Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We hope your day's a great one all the year through. Hey, happy 90th birthday, Esther. And uh, warm wishes for many, many more years of quality living. You have been an inspiration to all of us uh, here at Eastern Mennonite School. And it's fun to give you this uh, electronic greeting for a very special day as you reach this new milestone of 90 years. So I've put together nine slides. Uh, this is the first one with confetti celebrating your life. Um, each slide represents different ways you've touched my life personally and that of Eastern Mennonite School. So I go back to 1975. Uh, I think you were the one who brought art to Eastern Mennonite School and that still lives in our hearts here and is something that students enjoy um, being able to share their voice through creative strokes uh, and artistic uh, things that they put together. And uh, you clearly had a heart for students joining the senior class in 1975 on their trip to DC. And uh, I know your classroom lives on, even though it's not an art room because we have an upgraded one. Uh, it is a fantastic room. The teacher who's in there, Zach Souter, you may know him. His grandparents would be uh, Lawrence and Evelyn uh, Souter. He loves his room because of the spacious aspect, and you brought that uh, because of the importance of art. One of the things that you designed, I think, early on was our flame representing the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, uh, the home, school, and church in partnership, something that continues to live on. And I remember sitting with you, uh, coming up with this new logo uh, to contemporize it a little bit, and your graciousness in uh, the change from something that had lived for generations and years uh, to a more contemporary moving flame, you had a lot of good insight into how to make that work for us. And so I really appreciate uh, your spirit and your insight into uh, our modifications of our logo. I have the sower uh, your bronze statue of the sower right next to our mission statement. That's where he lives because it says so much about who we are as a school. As educators, we believe in sowing seeds into young people. We believe in young people and our, as our mission says of calling them to faith in Jesus Christ, academic excellence, personal integrity, and compassionate service. And our vision statement goes on to say where every student belongs, thrives, and lives God's call. And you know, we do that by planting seeds and uh, your inspiration of the sower planting seeds in the life of other people through education uh, is something that I often think of you when I see that statue and share the story of who Eastern Mennonite School is. I also love and see every day, as do every student uh, in our upper building, this shalom piece of artwork that symbolizes God's peace and love, uh, as well as the Shenandoah Valley on this beautiful stained uh, glass sculpture or stained uh, steel sculpture. And um, it is our marquee art piece, I think, and it, it will live on for generations. And thank you so much for sharing your creativity and inspiration with us through actual tangible art pieces that you've done. Here's one, I'm not sure if you remember these or not. Uh, these were created back a long time ago. <laughs> no, actually, these were not any of your creations. These were simply some student uh, creations, uh, I think from last year that I found laying around and decided to put them in just for fun. But you do uh, continue to live on both in the different media that we use and uh, these uh, simplistic pieces that are starting points for students just simply represent uh, the great artwork that gets started here. And many students have left this place uh, turning art into their profession, stained glass, pottery, painting. Uh, you might even see in the background here of mine, I have some student artwork um, that I always try to encourage and support, uh, as well as your beautiful print there in the background, the Shekinah. And the Shekinah is another uh, 
personal piece that you've donated to the school and we have hanging outside of our auditorium that uh, just reminds all of us to stay in touch with God's Holy Spirit, uh, to find the fire and the water and the passion that God plants in each of us and to live that out in a way that makes a difference in our world. And uh, your painting graces many of our houses you gave that or gave us permission to make prints of this for our um, building to equip and laying foundations project that built the auditorium. And so I know in my home, we have one hanging and I, I think we made about a hundred prints. So they're, they are distributed far and wide. And I love the one in my office also fondly helps me remember you and your leadership here at the board. And I know you and Myron have also been part of the Let the Children Come campaign in the elementary school. I'm proud to say that this year we have a record attendance. I think when you were on the board, we were having conversations of where, where should that program live from Lindale to the Route 11 North Campus. And uh, you were very supportive in helping this come to uh, the old Menno Media Building and we just love that space, as do prospective families. Again, we're at a record enrollment of over 100 this year, kind of at capacity, certainly in COVID style. And we've had, um, I think, about 20 students on the wait list. So that's a good problem. And thanks for being part of that exciting project. This picture is uh, from the top of your former farm. And it is a place where Mary and I just love overlooking during our meals, uh, seeing the sunset. This is a photo from the uh, apex of that hill where perhaps your lot uh, that would have been designated if that became a living residential community would have been placed. And so I finally think of you all more so than VMRC when I look over your farm. Um, it is producing a lot of great vegetables but it's just a beautiful scenery. Every evening uh, this time of year, we have multiple people coming out to walk out to that space and enjoy the beauty of God's creation uh, from where it is. You have been such a gift to me and Eastern Mennonite School. I just wish you a fantastic day and a year to come as you celebrate the ninth decade of your life. Congratulations and thank you for inspiring us.